Hello guys, so today we are going to learn about how to create a Compose multi-platform project for uh, to set up using Android Studio for iOS and Android app. So as you know, JetBrains recently have launched a little bit uh, stable version of Compose multi-platform to for that, you know, we can experiment and we can start building some of the apps. So, so let's get started and for to setting up your first project, what you have to do, we have to go to this jetplanes.com slash compose multi-platform or you can find it through Google or anywhere else. And then we have to go to this iOS that is in alpha stage right now with compose multi-platform. You can create the application applications for, you know, it's a multi-platform supporting uh, platform so you can create uh, builds for ios we have to write once and it will create for ios android desktop as well as for web this is also experimental and for ios it's now in alpha stage so we can test it out and create some or we can try creating one or two some of the applications with limited functionality that is still an experimental phase and uh, as you know we have kotlin multi-platform that is using kotlin but as uh, we have now uh, using compose and compose is more better to use for ui so we can experiment with that so let's get started to setting up our project so for this we can click on this ios alpha and it will take you this repository of JetBrains that is compose multi-platform ios android template so using this template what we have to do first of all you have to uh you be needing a x code or you should be having a mac os machine because to create ios applications you have to have a mac machine and then x code android studio this kotlin multi-platform plugin in your device and cocoa ports dependency manager and then you can run a k doctor then you can set it up and to setting up this template you just need to you create uh, click on this use this template uh, template create a repository it will create a repository in your uh, github profile then you can uh, take that code or you can clone it on your uh, android studio and if uh, while setting this up uh, when you are going to do brew install k doctor you going to check like if your machine is ready to uh, ready for kotlin multi-platform or not then you must be having some issues either by for uh, your machine is if somebody is using m1 or some other machine you guys must be having issues with ruby so you can follow this uh, link i will put this in description and you can resolve your issues somehow i also put some issues while doing the initial setup but i uh, get this help from this link and when you are uh, trying to uh, solve some other issues which coca ports you can follow this link it will have some of them will uh, resolve your issue so which that i was having with this uh, setting up this uh, utf8 issue and that's uh, got resolved by one of this link so you can follow that up so let's now move to our repository when you use this template it will create a repo and i already uh, like taken the clone in my machine so the initial setup will look like this and here in your first compose multi-platform uh, project you will have this uh, setup of project if you can see here you have the android app common if somebody is using kotlin multi-platform they can easily identify you have this android app you have ios app where you want to write some specific code and then you have this shared folder here we have this common main and in kotlin we, here we have this app.kt here we have to write our code in compose that is going to be uh, produced in for ios and android app and for uh, like to using k doctor you have to go to your terminal you can write k doctor and it will tell you if your machine is ready to uh, use for uh, this uh, compose multi-platform and it is right now checking my machine so let it check and it will complete so by the time it is doing let's try to run write some code for 
this com in compose and with material theme you can simply check it and let's we are going to write it. Uh, it it won't take that much time i don't know why it's taking so much time right now but it will soon will end and till then in material theme let's write some ui code and we will check it how it looks like in ios emulator and android emulator so let's have a surface and in surface and also it uh, basically uses this compose dependencies which we add our in our gradle you can check these things all dependencies wherever like your uh, compose dependency we give for android and ios you can check all the gradles files and you will find the dependencies there as well yeah so jet plane compose it all looks and the same way if you do the and it is now also completed so uh, my system is ready to do the development for kotlin multi-platform so let's get dive into the code let's make our first compose multi-platform app so i have taken a surface in this surface let's take a modifier and modifier dot i will give it fill max size and then let's have a color color if you want the same way uh, you do the coding for uh, and normal android project you can simply do it like this and in this let's have in surface let's have a column and column so it, it will be more simpler for the people who knows how to use compose and modifier dot fill max size then we can have the vertical arrangement arrangement dot center and horizontal arrangement alignment sorry alignment dot center horizontally and in this column let's try to have a normal card view with an image and with the text so we are going to make a simple card that is going to have a image and a normal so for this uh, let's have a row in it and for row let's have a modifier modifier dot uh, we can say like uh, we have to give some padding that will be of uh, from the all side that will let's have it 12 dot dp and yeah then same as well we have to have a vertical alignment that is alignment dot center vertically and horizontal arrangement arrangement we have to do it at center because we want our text to be at center and then in this let's have an image so uh, like you do in compose how you make your ui in compose you can have the same and this let's have a modifier modifier and dot give the we can give the shape as we want it to be a rounded shape or a circle shape how you like how you want to make make it then give it a size and we want to give it a size of 62 dp and that's our image and in this let's have yeah let's have its other properties as well we have painter that is painter resource so for this uh if you somebody has seen the demo we you know know we have to uh, have this our common resources that's a vector we can have it like this compose multi that's a uh, that's an image that comes with this repo multi-platform and platform dot xml and let's give it a content description as null oh not here sorry and we can give the content description as null and also we want to give it a content scale
that is uh, we can simply say content description as null content scale yeah like this that is content scale dot crop right and that's how we have um, set our image let's have a spacer spacer that is so we are in a row so we have to give uh, the width width of that is of adp and you can say it like this and then let's have a text so for text we can we are going to have a simple text that is text and uh, in this text is hi i am android and ios you can say it like this this is normal text and give the text size sorry not the text size it is font size and that is 20.sp we can say and now font weight let's have a font weight that is font weight you can have dot medium right so we have created a small example let's run it you can create i think the preview as well i haven't tried it you can try it so this is our uh and we should be having like this is the simple let's take it in a card so i want to have it in a card and so let's create a card and in the card let's have an elevation of 5 pp and get the shape that is rounded corner shape of size 12.tp and we want to put our row inside it so where it is ending here let's do it like this and let's run it so i would just wanted to have it in a card so this looks nice and if i zoom in or if i pull it like this so this is how it looks in here and if i want to change the background color so please let's give it a color dot black blue green uh, darker gray let's give it and let's run it you will see how it looks how oh, dark gray is not looking good mm, we can give it a green or uh, red color so this is I, i'm just trying to show like this is how simple you can create with this and i'm not liking this color and you will you can create multiple cards or you can create the same way how we do it and you can create multiple uh sorry multiple kotlin compose composables here and you can use show it in a like the way we show in I android and ios and also let's run it in our ios app for this just select the ios app and just run it and stop and rerun so we have this emulator ios emulator running and it will run it in the, in our ios simulator and you can check it so let it run so this is all in using material 3 material compose and you can also try different different things and it's preparing the build let's set let's see it will run so guys this is how you can create your first compose uh, multi platform project and you can experiment with it it's still in alpha stage and still but you can uh, make some small small projects and even though if you resolve the issues you can create so this is how it looks like in ios and you can the same way you can uh, create your ui and you can use it and there are uh, along the way if you get some issues you can resolve them directly by going to these two links but it will resolve mostly all of your issues and yeah that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you have any doubts or anything please comment 
and do let me know if you want me to make some more videos on this topic till then guys cheers keep coding